it, I feel that wanting to show you through the Taurus electronic key management system. So this is one of our Taurus 15 cabinets. The cabinets themselves come in 15, 25, 50 and 100 key sets or uh, key management sets positions per cabinet. Different ways to enter the cabinet which I'll show you in a minute. But as you can see the cabinet's really sleek design, aesthetically pleasing. We get so many comments from our customers saying that they really like the look and feel of it when it goes on the walls in their buildings. Um, essentially it's looking like a flat screen TV. So if we unpack a bit more about the hardware, you've got a tinted polycarb door, two and a half millimeters thick, which actually for the, the same thickness is stronger than metal. You've got a really nice metal frame that's squared off and essentially hanging on the wall on its own um, framework, so really easy to put together. In here on this uh, door panel, you've got the CU and we've got an HRD card reader on this cabinet. Various card readers can be installed. Um, that's an uh, you know, additional accessory to what comes out of the box, but really easy to install. Six and a half inch touch screen where users can come in through user ID and PIN. They can come in through card, low level integration, high level integration. Also can add a fingerprint reader or other type accessories. You come in through card and user ID and PIN, so lots of ways to access the cabinet. First off, I'll show you access via a card, which then opens the cabinet and you'll see within the cabinet key positions that can be accessed, lit up in green based on my permission levels or the permission levels in this card. Before we get a bit more into the key positions, as you open the door, you can see it's again really well built, really well constructed, steel frame, multiple locking points. You can see the thickness of that polycarbonate here. The key positions themselves are offset, um, diagonally offset, if you will, so that leaves more room for larger key bunches. In this demo unit here, we're just hanging a few tags, keys, cards. Um, you can hang uh, fobs, cards, larger bunches, car keys, whatever the case may be. The key rings themselves, which sit on a metal key holder, individually cut, specific to us. And then they're crimped on a really strong um, metal key ring, where the key ring keys actually are crimped onto, and they need a bolt cutter to cut them off. So a really strong design, metal key holder going into a metal key barrel. You can see here, when I take that key out, it's green when I've uh, got the permission to take it. When I take it out, it's actually blue, which means it's out, but it's not in alarm on key position number four. So I'll put that key back. Key positions number one and three, they're lit up in orange, which basically means they're multi-custody keys. So these are usually really high security keys. They could be grandmaster keys, keys for pharmaceutical safes, or for gold rooms or cash boxes and it can take more than one person to have to badge on to access those keys. So as I close the cabinet for the first time, we'll have a look at the touch screen as we come in another time. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in through our Apple Wallet. And it's really nice six and a half inch touch screen, which is personalized on the way in. So it'll say, hello, whatever your name might be. And a really nice way of being able to see into the cabinet. So here on this HID reader in this cabinet we've got it integrated with Apple Wallet. Really nice seamless tech so badging on with the phone. Similar we can do that with uh, Gallagher Mobile Connect with the Gallagher integration. So just depending on what use case there is, what the integration is, what sort of technology stack you're looking to use. Here you can see Good morning visitor, so that's a personalized greeting. And you can look to retrieve items on the screen and have a really nice menu to search. If we go back, you can look at returning items, no retur items to return, return override, alarm management, and settings themselves within the cabinet. So emergency unlock, mobile network, local area, etc. Use user ID and password, and if they're coming into the touch screen itself, they can actually re-enroll at the cabinet. So there's no need to call facilities management or security. Hey, I forgot my user ID and password. They can simply go forgot user ID and password, enter their mobile number, and then get a text message to their phone and come straight back into the cabinet.